Yo, what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome to the channel where today I'm going to be doing another gaming test between my 65 inch Samsung Q90R and my 65 inch LG B8 OLED. And the console that we're going to be using today is the Xbox One X. Uh, we've got a splitter there hooked up between the two TVs. And the game that we're going to be testing out is Gears 5. But if the Xbox isn't your thing, then don't worry. I do have a PlayStation 4 Pro and I have done some comparison videos on both of these TVs with the P PS4 Pro. So go check them out because I know I get a lot of people saying whenever I do a PlayStation video or an Xbox video, oh, you know, why are you doing a video on the Xbox? The PlayStation's better. Or when I'm doing one on the PlayStation, the Xbox is better. Fact is, I've got both consoles and I'm trying out various games on both of them on both TVs. So please go check out those other videos. Now, in my previous game and test videos, a lot of you guys said I should calibrate these TVs, maybe even get an expert in to set these TVs up. Well, unfortunately, I'm not willing to pay for someone to do that. And being in lockdown, that ain't going to happen anyway. So the other suggestion in um, one of my suggestion videos i done was to do uh, or use Arting's settings. So that's what I have done on both of these TVs. But I will just point out that, to be honest, their settings are very vague. Um, like when it comes to gaming on one TV, it actually gave me some settings. On the other one, it was just really vague and said um, the the standard settings don't need a lot of adjustment. But then they didn't tell you what adjustment that they did need. And a lot of the times when it did actually say about adjusting anything, it was very vague and was like... Um, just adjust them to uh, what you like, which in fact isn't much help. Well, I could just do that anyway with all the settings. But I've implemented uh, the ones that I could anyway. So what I've done, I've got settings for the gaming. And I think it's like expert, bright room and movie mode on the uh, Samsung. Yeah, expert, bright room on the OLED. That's for like your standard definition stuff. So we'll try that sort of like um, just those recommended settings from them and those settings. Then we'll flip over to their game mode settings. So I just hope that clears all that up. Right, now we've got all that out of the way. I think it's time we crack on with the testing. And we are off with Gears 5. So looking at this uh, picture now then. At the bottom we have the LG OLED at the up the top we have the Samsung QLED and there is a uh, distinct difference there with the uh, black levels as you can see. It's uh, sort of misty, a little bit washed out up the top there on the uh, Samsung Q90R. And uh, before we actually get straight into this game I just want to show you guys this. A lot of people say oh why is the uh, OLED bigger than the QLED? Well, they're not any different. All it is is the uh, QLED, uh, sorry, the OLED is just sitting slightly further forward uh, than the one at the top because uh, as you can see, I can't get any further back. So it's just a bit of an optical illusion, but trust me, they are exactly the same size. So just looking at this uh, loading screen here, and again, um, well, to me, that just looks a lot more richer on the OLED at the bottom. I've got my son who's going to play the game with me. I'll just ask him his opinion on that. What are you thinking um, that? I think the OLED's better because, like, if you can see on the block, on the yeah. side, um, the OLED's like bigger than the QLED. Um, yeah. Like, the OLED's like bigger than the QLED. Yeah, that's right. And I'm just going to quickly show you guys now before we actually fire up the game. So, we are in movie mode which is the one that Artings said is best for like standard definition stuff. Now I know this isn't a game mode, but if you don't want to use a game mode, um, this is the, what they say they're the most accurate is for the colors and everything. So that's all set up on their movie mode, on the movie mode on the Samsung. And if I just get the remote for the uh, OLED, and that one is in 
if you can see that there expert bright room again that one's been set up so if it looks rubbish on either one then blame artings and not me right so uh it's like the game is now on Grab the remotes here and just the sound. So the sound at the moment is on the QLED. Show you the viewing angles quickly. Enough. Enough of this ridiculous so that's the OLED. It's the QLED, OLED, QLED, OLED, QLED. So it's going a bit tighter then. So on the uh, QLED now. Again, apologies if I get mixed up which way round it is. It's the QLED at the top and the OLED down the bottom. So OLED, and you have to excuse if the gameplay isn't the best because my son's never played this before. So OLED, and QLED. What do you think looks better? Let me know. Get down to the same sort of height so you can see like the reflections there. So the Samsung is uh, slightly better with the anti reflectiveness there, has a bit of a more pinker hue though on it. Let's move around to the side here, just sit in a different seat position because not everyone sits square on every time. You know, you might have a mate round who's playing the game. I want to see what it's going to look like for them if they're set on uh, another sofa. And uh, I think both doing a really good job when it comes to uh, sitting not dead centre. So switching on game mode now on the uh, Q90R, as you can see there, game mode is on. And just confirm that there, yeah, game mode. And uh, that has been adjusted to uh, the sort of settings that our teams recommend and game mode on the uh, LG OLED there. The room that we're in is uh, very bright at the moment. I will be doing some more nighttime videos. Uh, they'll be coming very soon. And I might even do some in the daytime just with the curtains drawn a bit. But these, these uh, videos that I've done in the daylight, obviously are for people who don't want to sit there with the curtains drawn and uh, may just want to play in a bright room. Because yes, a lot of gamers do like to play in the dark, but not everyone does. So I'm making videos, hopefully, that are catered for everyone. So looking at the OLED there, and then the QLED. Now I have got a uh, another mode to show you guys, and that is one that I have set up myself. So I've not listened to what anyone else has said, and I've just been messing about the last couple of days with the QLED, and trying to make it look as OLED-like as possible, if that makes sense, when it comes to like the dark levels. And in a minute, in a minute I will implement that and uh, you know, see what you guys think of that. I will just put it up against this, like the standard mode on the um, LG OLED and see how it compares. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna uh, change the uh, QLED, uh, sorry, the OLED, just to standard mode now. And the Q90R at the top. I'm going to turn off game mode and I'm going to implement 
my very oh let me just turn that off game mode off yeah and um i'm going to change it to my personal settings what i've tried to make it look as oled like so there we go um, I'm not going to give away my settings just yet. I'm going to keep those uh, close to my chest for the time being as uh, I'm still tweaking them and I don't want to give them out too early when they're not sort of finalised as such but you know I'm like playing with them a bit now and again and uh, let me know uh, what you think. Does it get closer to that OLED look? So right I've got the camera's exposure a bit better as well now because it was blowing out a little bit on the QLED there. Right, so these, like I said, are my own settings, my uh, OLED light settings for the Q90R. So, OLED, QLED, and I don't think I've done too bad a job. Just uh, go back here at a slightly wider angle. I mean, personally, I prefer them to arting settings, but you know, they are my personal settings, so of course I'm going to prefer them. Let's come around the side here a bit. Let's have a look at those viewing angles one more time. And over to this seat over here. Yeah, I don't think I've done a too bad a job. Do you think that looks uh, better, mate? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, your son even agrees, but there you go. So, I think that's enough for this uh, video, and uh, we'll wrap it up. There you go, then, guys. Now, I would love to hear your feedback on what you thought about me using the arting settings, and would you like me to use them in future videos? And would you like me to also use my personal settings? Um, that I use on the Q9TR in future videos as well. Now, if you have enjoyed today's video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of the same in the future, including more gaming tests with the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, the QLED, the OLED, and even some of the 2020 TVs, because I've just taken delivery of two new ones, and one of those is one of the new Samsung QLEDs. So if you'd like to uh, see some of those videos, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. So thanks very much for joining me today, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on next one. Bye for now.